everyone is too comfortable out there so the reality is is like i've said this a million times before in many videos but like i said i feel like i gotta keep reiterating it if you are comfortable where you are right now and just the thought of coming out here is in your brain in your everything in your plan it's just gonna make it more uncomfortable then maybe coming out here is not for you but if you are already in a very uncomfortable situation whatever that is man whatever that is it's like it can take many shapes and forms and whatever but if you're very uncomfortable where you are right now then yeah mexico is going to be great for you because it's going to help you cure or get over you know what is it like i mean it's going to solve a lot of those problems that you have of uh, uncomfortable ability you know i'm being uncomfortable hey guys how's it going and welcome back to another episode in this episode you already know we're going on the road we're going to take a little bike ride and we're going to be talking about one of the most frequently asked questions that we have on this channel which is how much do i need how much is the actual finances how much money do i really need in order to live out here comfortably and uh you know there's a lot of answers to this and uh that's why we're going to be taking a full bike ride uh, around you know uh merida and uh, in the meantime we're going to be discussing this very important topic so all right guys you already know what's up uh, please join me as uh we talk about you know not just how much do you need but we're gonna, i'm gonna give you a little backstory for those of you that don't know uh, i'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story and how i got here and what resources i have had at that moment and um and you know to see if you guys can do it or not and uh we're gonna explore all that so all right enough talking let's get on the bike and uh, we can talk and bike at the same time right so let's do it all right guys so let's get started all right so in today's episode i'm not really going to give you a map or anything like that because well i'm just going to be riding around um no real rhyme or reason you know i got no real destination today um i literally just had to uh record an episode to be frank with you and so therefore that's what we're doing today we're just gonna get on the bike and record an episode and uh talk about this said subject all right um now the reason i'm bringing this up is because if you guys are frequent flyers to this channel you guys watch my channel a lot you guys uh you guys seen you know all the videos i post up and the last several videos have been more about lego let's go to the park uh, let's uh let's um let me show you the baseball game let me show you all kinds of cool things and you know they don't get that many views and uh the reality is is because you guys are more interested in videos like this of me just biking around you know biking around or, or walking around showing you the neighborhoods and talking about real things um, all the other, I mean, the other videos are great. I like making them. I make them, again, all these, they're made for mostly for myself. Um, and so, you know, those are great. You know what I mean? Even though they don't get that many views, it's fine. I like doing them for me, for my memories, for my whatever. But these are the ones that you guys like. So I'm starting to look into the subjects a little bit more and uh, starting to see um, what are the real subjects you guys care about and want to, you know, want me to talk about and so this is one of the main, main, major topics <clears throat> um, that you guys ask me all the time. You know what I mean? How much do I need? And it's more on the motivational side of things. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so speaking of that, a lot of times um, I am, uh, you know, um, you know, as I meet all of you guys out there, because you know I meet so many of you guys, um, whether through the meetups or whatever or in person you know or whatever it doesn't matter uh, um it, it seems that like the one underlying um common theme with all of you guys is that you guys are always thanking me for the motivational aspect of all this stuff you know and motivation comes in many ways you know sometimes it's just by giving you guys the knowledge you need to make the proper decision and sometimes it's uh literally literally the kick in the ass that you need one shape form or another in order to finally make that decision but i digress um i i, I get i mean i i talk to people all, all over you know from all all uh all income brackets i know people that are making just a few thousand a year to making uh to have like half a million in the bank and everyone in between and all that stuff um i usually don't deal with a six seven eight figure 
characters out there, but I have. And, um, and to me, it's it's funny because it's always the same question: Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do what do I? How much? How much do I really, really need? And again, guys, I've made so many videos on this exact subject as to how much money do you really need to survive out here and the other day shout out to tangerine travels um, um the guy on the tangerine travel channel he literally made a video talking about can you live out here on 300 dollars a month and i'm glad he made that and he made an amazing video i'm um, talking about that subject because the reality is is that yes yes you can definitely live out here on on just 300 bucks a month if that's all you got um of course you know to have a few more resources would help a lot um with your comfort level and all these other things but you gotta remember man let's say it's only uh man am i going the right way see i mean he already didn't even know where i'm going anymore and eh, whatever it doesn't even matter we're just taking a little ride. I'm just trying to see if I can figure out where I'm going here. But anyways, okay, so, you know, the whole $300 a month, yeah, you can live out here on 300 bucks a month. In fact, I came out here originally over three and a half years ago, almost four years, but, you know, for sure, you know what I mean? I came out here a long time ago and there was no YouTubers, there was no information, there was no nothing talking about this, these subjects. And, um, and I came out here and I made it all right. I survived. Um, in fact, like I said, I only had a thousand five hundred bucks to my name. I only had uh, a few gig jobs that I could do, you know, um, on the internet over over the computer, you know, through Craigslist and, and all those other things. And basically, I was surviving around three hundred bucks a month. You know what I mean? I'm four hundred bucks a month, give or take, um, for a long time. And um, and now. You know, sure, my expenses have gotten a little higher for a lot of obvious reasons, but they're still very low and very manageable. And nothing in comparison to what they used to be or what they are for a lot of you guys out there. And uh, the thing is that what determines um, your how much money you need to survive out here is basically um, all dependent on you. And what you're willing to sacrifice and how you are willing to live um, will determine that. Because I know a lot of people that come out here and they're spending exactly the same amount of money as um, they were in the US. And that's not gonna work. Just like uh, this street's not gonna work. It seems like we're at a dead end. All right, you know what? I, I need to at least know on the map where I am. And let me, let me check it out and then uh, we'll get back to this at, at the end of it. All right, all right. We all re-entered ourselves now, all right? So I think I kind of know where I am. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm trying to also get a little lost on purpose. That way, you make it a little bit more fun for me. Okay, but, you know, just going back to that, you know I mean? The thing is, it's like, everyone is too comfortable out there. So the reality is, is like, I've said this a million times before in many videos, but like I said, I feel like I gotta keep reiterating it. If you are comfortable, where you are right now and just the thought of coming out here is in your brain in your everything in your plan it's just going to make it more uncomfortable then maybe coming out here is not for you but if you are already in a very uncomfortable situation whatever that is man whatever that is it's like it can take many shapes and forms and whatever but if you're very uncomfortable where you are right now then yeah mexico is going to be great for you because it's going to help you cure or get over you know what is it like i mean it's going to solve a lot of those problems that you have of uh, uncomfortable ability you know i'm um, being uncomfortable and that can take many forms guys again okay so we're gonna make a right here hopefully we don't crash into this lady so you know that's the thing you know like i mean honestly i know like there's plenty of people that are back in the U.S. right now only making a, a few thousand dollars, but they're very comfortable, very happy, you know, very whatever. You're not, you know, other people that have, you know, half a million or a quarter of a million to their name, and they're very miserable. And a lot of it just has to do with um, 
all the things that are going on in the world right now. And so this is why, you know, um, a lot of people are coming out to, to this region, to this area, because they, more importantly than anything else, they highly covet this thing called freedom and liberty, and they still have it here. Um, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but my God, it's a lot better out here um, than it is in some parts of the world. And, um, you know, just going back to uh, the whole comfort aspect to living out here, you know, the reality is, is, like I said, you know, a lot of people, you could be making a lot of money back home, but you're crazy uncomfortable. You're living a life you don't want to live. I could go on and on. And uh, all of a sudden you come out or you decide to live in a place like this and all of a sudden you're very, very comfortable, very happy, you know, um, it all, it all, it's like a lot of it has to do with uh, all these intangibles, you know, basically meaning uh, uh, what do you, what do you want, a lot, what do you want in life, what are you looking for, um, and all these other things. And so, they, <laughs> almost crashed another bike there. I don't know if you saw it. But <laughs> we we're both coming in, and uh, we both had the freedom to not stop. So I decided to go a little faster. Anyway, sorry about that, <laughs> but. But you know, just going back, you know, to, to what I was saying, um, you know, for example, tomorrow, you're gonna be watching this on September 15th. Um, I'm filming this on the 14th. I'm gonna, I mean, you know, I gotta edit this later and I'm gonna, you know, uh, make sure you guys uh, have it ready so you guys can see it on the 15th. What is the 15th? Well, that's really Mexican Independence Day. I know a lot of you guys are always like, oh, what about Cinco de Mayo or this or that or whatever. Again, you know, a lot of you guys have probably already heard that you, that you know that that date is not really a date. You know, you know that it's a date in the sense of like, uh, it's important, I guess, you know, because, uh, you know, Cinco de Mayo, all the Mexican bull crap. But the reality is, it's just, it was just some shitty battle back in the day out here. I think between the French and the Mexicans or some shit like that. And that's basically it. But the reality is, is that uh, real Independence Day is September 15th. My birthday, my birthday is on the 18th. For some of you guys that are living out here already, and you guys are coming to my birthday party and the meetup, you know, I'll see you guys there. But for everyone else that isn't, you'll know why I'm probably not around, you know, this weekend there, you know what I mean? It's probably the only video you're gonna see this week. It all depends on a few things. But I digress. Today, I mean, on the 15th, you know, before it was just a regular day, but now to me is just as important as July 4th as the actual Independence Day. And it's simply because, um, you know, for many reasons, you know, because now I've been living here for a while, I've been here for a while. Um, I, I literally celebrate this country because this country, um, you know, just like any other immigrant in the U.S., they love America, they, they hold the American flag. They might be coming from Pakistan or India or China or Nicaragua or Cuba or whatever, but everyone is like, has that special spot, that spot deep in their heart, deep in their soul for the USA. Well, I already have that because I was born in the USA, but because of certain circumstances which had led me to live here, and after being here, and the people here, and the whole environment here being so awesome and welcoming and beautiful and amazing, I have now, in a sense, you know, um, adopted this country. And it, well, it's more like they've adopted me. And, um, you know, for me, it's showing thanks and being very thankful for the fact that you know I'm a you know I get to be out here. I get to you know celebrate freedom and independence with the others that live out here, and um, and it means something very special. And uh, you know, on this particular week and, and weekend and these days, it means even more because for anyone out there that's been following me for a long time, knows my story, knows my situation knows what's going on with all that you know that I have a lot to celebrate I have a lot to uh, look uh, you know be happy and thankful for and, um, and especially this year um, this is my 40th birthday this is I think uh, Mexico's like 211th birthday and um, 
it's uh it's just a beautiful thing it's so you know just coming back out here you know about like uh about living out here you know out here again it's not for everybody it just really isn't for everybody but if you are just uh, a simple person like i think most of us are and all you want to do is live your life be left alone and all that good stuff um and be able to afford a nice life for you and your family you guys can do it out here so you know let me let me just go back to like the, the cost again you know um you can live here for 300 bucks or 3,000 bucks it all depends on what you want and what you're looking for you know you can rent the part if you're just a single guy you know doing uh you know single guy stuff living out here dude i mean i'm telling you you can get like an apartment you can get an apartment and you know maybe not the most desirable part of town for like around 50 bucks 75 you're pushing it with 75 but i'm saying if anything above that you're already getting good like the first apartment i lived in was under 200 bucks the house that i live in now is 250 bucks a month okay so imagine what you can get if you're all you're looking for is a room all you're looking for is a little spot with a roommate all you're looking for is an apartment and i can go on and on you know very cheap you already know from watching a lot of my other cost of living videos how cheap the food is and, and how cheap everything else is you know some things are getting expensive some things are always going to be you know a little bit more pricey than others but for the most part come on come on now very cheap very accessible and compared to what you're dealing with in the u.s or canada or australia or anywhere else you know what i mean is in the first world or what have you so the thing is that, like I've said, uh, again, I, I keep reiterating this because I've said it many times in other episodes, but it seems like you guys want to keep hearing it. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind talking. Um, is the fact that, like I said, you know what I mean? Out here, um, it's, it's basically up to you um, how much you, you're going to spend and how comfortable you actually need to be. Um... To, to survive so again man it just if you're if you're just looking for better options listen man you know what i mean mexico is a great spot for you but you know for a lot of people out there that you know they're coming out here and they want to live exactly like they're living in the u.s it's probably gonna cost you the same amount of money man and it's just a simple fact you know what i mean because uh the thing is that when you're living in a place like this, you quickly realize why things are so cheap. And it's because no matter who they are, I mean, again, you got to be at a very high income level. But for the most part, all the people that you're seeing around me, you know, uh, they just, they live very humbly. You know what I mean? They don't have water pressure throughout the whole house. They don't turn on the AC all day, every day. The car that they have, you know, is what they can afford. Um... And I can go on and on, you know what I mean? And so, a lot of people, you know, out there in the videos, you know, you're looking at Mexico and you're like, man, all these people are so poor. And I'm like, no, 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 no. They're not poor, they're just debt free. They are debt free, let me repeat that. Most of them are debt free. And then if they do have some sort of debt, it's very, very minimal. Because out here, they're taught how to, you know, now maybe not how to drive like this guy, but at the end of the day, they're taught how to, you know what I mean? How to they not accrue debt, how to save money, what the value of, uh, of um, you know what I mean? Of uh, saving money and buying things cash or, or, and, and, uh, is as opposed to debt. In a lot of our countries, especially in the US, it's all about debt, 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 debt. You know, get yourself in debt, get yourself in debt so you can have a nicer home, a nicer car, a nicer this, a nicer that. And all you realize is that all you're doing is that you are enslaving yourself and you're forcing the hand to, to you know, you're forcing your hand, meaning, um, in order to work more, work harder, do more um, for less. And I can go on and on. And that's the thing, that's like the sad, true reality. Um, and out here it's not so much, yeah. You, you know, you're gonna see tons of people that are 
you know, trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's that's everywhere on planet Earth. You know what I mean? Uh, some places more than others. Um, especially, you know, again, the more Americanized or the more capitalistic it is or whatever, that's always going to be the case. But the reality is, is that there's a lot of people out here and they're not worried about that kind of crap, you know? It's not, it's not even, because it's more important to them. It's more important to them to feed their family. It's more important to them if they're going to wait, if they're going to throw money away, if they're going to put money in something and they got an option of like, oh, can I get myself a, a, a new car or a new motorcycle or can I put a little business? Most people are going to offer putting a little business and investing in themselves, investing in that. And then eventually they'll be able to buy that motorcycle with work, with hard work, with a lot of effort. And, um, and it's theirs and it's not like a de look man in fact if you're trying to like buy stuff on credit and and uh, get into debt out here they make it so expensive then most people just don't do it and the ones that do it I mean it's not gonna survive I mean think about it like you buy a property you know or a car or whatever that's like let's say 10,000 and um, back home you know with all the you know, let's say that, you know, with all the, hey, what you call it, the, the finances and all that other shit, you know what I mean? The the interest rate and all this, whatever. You know, something that's 10,000, you'll probably pay like 12. I don't know, give or take. Out here, something that's like 10,000, you're probably gonna end up paying like 18. And so most people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'll just wait a little longer, work for it and get it. And that's it. So, you know, just, it's very different, you know, things like that. So. I think that, in all honesty, you know, out here um, in, in Mexico, it's just a different way of life. And it's like, uh, you know, for most people out there, you know, they're just, you know, they're looking, they're looking for a safe space. You know what I mean? I don't want to say that word. I hate that word. I hate that whole, uh, you know, stuff there. But that's it. You know what I mean? That's the reality of it. You know, I think most people are just really looking for that safe space. And there's no true safe space out there in the world. The whole world is going into turmoil and there's a lot of crazy shit going on. But if, if there's one place in which everything is pretty chill, pretty calm, pretty relaxed, pretty all right, it's Mexico. And again, Mexico is pretty first world. Um, so out here, you know, if all you have is a few bucks to your name and you have the ability to make some money on the internet or through some other endeavor, um, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You know, don't be coming out here with a lazy mentality because that's not gonna fly out here. You're gonna be starving real quick. But if you're coming out here and you're willing to put in that work and you can work harder than the natives, which I highly doubt, but if you can, oh man, forget it. You're gonna be, you're gonna be killing it out here. You're gonna be like a boss, like in, in every sense of the word. So I highly suggest that, you know, if you guys are thinking about moving out here and living out here, that you guys, again, you gotta reassess why you're doing it, you know, and what, what the reason is. And then once you decide that, then everything else will just kind of fall into place because a lot of people, you know, they're just like, I hate it here. I hate where I live. I hate my boss. I hate my this. And I'm like, and I want to just move to Mexico. And I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do when you come out here? I don't know. All right, good luck with that. You get what I'm saying? And like, just, just shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you know, you got to have a game plan, man. And um, even if you don't have a game plan and you're willing to think on your feet and get shit done, get it together, get it whatever, you can make it happen, but... You, you know, it's not gonna just happen for you. You gotta put in that work. And it takes a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice, um, but it can be done, man. And you can live a very happy life and you can live a very good life and you don't need much. Remember, wealth is not about money. Wealth is more about quality of life quality of life that is like the most important if not the most important aspect to any anything out there and uh and that's the thing if you got your quality of life on point 
Um, you're good, man. You, you're already you're winning. You're you're already way ahead of everybody else. But most people, most people, they can't even. Uh, you know, they're struggling so much just trying to keep up with the Joneses that they 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 quit. That by the time that they realize that buying a new car, buying a new this, um, and you know what I mean, just trying to keep up with the Joneses and and and, and living a certain life. Once people realize that that's not really gonna, that's not really making them happy, that all they're doing is just trying to fill the void, you know, with bullshit and crap, that's when they quickly realize when it's way too late. What have I done with my life? Why did I spend all this money on all this crap? Why did I do all this? All I wanted to do was live in peace, live happily, live my life. And that's it, you know, so. That's kind of like what it boils down to, to tell you the truth. And it's 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 complicated and it's not complicated. I mean, look at this episode. This episode's all over the place. I, I just, uh, I haven't been on the bike in a while. I haven't done an episode in a while. I'm recording this episode because I gotta have something for you guys. And, um, and it is what it is. So, all right, I don't even know how much of an episode I filmed already. I gotta come in here because I gotta buy something real quick and then I gotta ride back and film another episode, so. I think we have enough for an episode. So guys, you already know what's up. If you like this kind of content, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. And if you have anything to add, if, if there's anything I missed, if there's anything you want me to talk about, if there's anything in particular you want me to cover, um, let me know down below in the comments, you know? Uh, let's get, keep this conversation going and uh, see what else. Because I, again, you know, a lot of times I'm on my bike, I'm doing a multitasking, trying to do a million things, I'm talking, and I don't even know what I'm saying until later on when I'm record when I'm re uh, editing it or later on when you guys are watching it I, I honestly have no idea which of the episodes you really like or not but I get a feeling that this might be a good one keeping your fingers crossed please let me know down below a lot of you guys let me know with all the thumbs downs and uh, all that all that lovely hate you know um by the way I love all you guys no matter what so all right you already know what to do see you guys on the next one bye